I'm having a good time, they just trying to ruin it. Shout out to the fact that I'm the youngest nigga doing it. Cap on brim, Ben, Dan, Sailor, time. Yo, what's up guys, it is your boy Bugs, in today's video I'll be explaining how Epic could improve the comp scene in Fortnite and make it actually more competitive and more enjoyable for the players and viewers, and let's get into it. First thing first is they need to cut off some regions and create org support, I'll get into that after the whole cut in the region thing. Now guys, in my opinion, I feel like comp should just be NA and EU only, other regions rewards should be like V-Bucks like how it was back in the solo showdown days. Yes, I know a lot of people are saying no, that's not fair, there's a lot of good players in other regions, but guys, it's just not comp in their region. Like, there's about 20 to possibly 50 players in other regions that are on the same level as an NA or EU player. And this is not me hating on other regions. It's just a proven fact that these regions just aren't comp when you could get like zero to five points to qualify for finals there. Like, how is that comp? Yes, it's a cool concept of having a World Cup of the best players around the world. But when four of the region's population doesn't even meet the top two regions and the prize is shrunken because of that, it's like, how can you really prove that they're one of the best players around the world when they don't actually go up against any real comp except, you know, the top 20 in their regions every time. Now, this also brings me into my second topic, which is about the whole org support. I'm not sure how it's really done in these other esports games or even if these other esports games actually do, um, you know, support orgs with money and type of stuff. But I do feel like Epic should, type, um, should try to find this, some type of system where they can help these orgs top players move from their regions and move to NA or EU of their choosing and actually compete in there because they'll be beneficial for both regions and for NA and EU. The reason why I'm saying that is for one, that it'll finally be more spots in like the World Cup if they do do another one. It'll be more spots for everybody just for the fact that there aren't being spots taken from these other regions that, like I said, aren't really comp. Two, it's more money for these other players that are moving from their region because literally they don't really make money unless they're like top three. Like, literally if they're not placed in top three they're not really making anything and four it would just make the whole comp scene more competitive and more challenging for everybody now, the third thing they need to do is to improve the arena system by just having some type of awards even if it's v bucks um in my opinion i feel like the arena um, format is perfectly fine it's just the players you know players don't take practice seriously unless something's on the line which i find really so stupid and arrogant because you're supposed to want to practice to get better for these actual real tournaments but they don't want to practice. I don't know. It's really confusing and really stupid to me. But like, I feel like Fortnite should add some type of V Bucks type of thing for them or something to make people want to actually try and practice. Because like, to keep it real, Discords are dog shit. Arenas dog shit. Customs are dog shit. Like everything to practice is just dog shit. The only practice you get is actually playing in the tournaments, and that is not how practice should be. Practice should be something that you do. That has nothing on the line, but you want to practice to get better or try something new and stuff. And people just don't see that. I think it's maybe the age requirement. The age, I mean, the age group or, or something. Something just, It's something with Fortnite that just makes people like, nah, I don't care. It's nothing serious. Nothing's on the line. I'm just going to do this and do that. Like, I don't get it. So, hopefully, if they add some type of reward thing, people actually try. I don't think it has to be money. Maybe even V-Bucks would be fine. People try their balls off in fucking Showdown when... That was a thing, so hopefully that's all Fortnite really needs to do, and they d need to do it fast because Arena could be something really good. Like it could get rid of all discords of practice. Everyone could just hop in, have 60-man lobbies, storm surge every game. You know how lit that would be every day when you could just hop on Arena with no gotta wait for Q, gotta wait for this player to get on this player. Like you could just hop in and actually try and practice. The fourth thing they do is get rid of these cash cups or make it two rounds. And get rid of this bullshit contender cup. Like, don't get me wrong. I get the whole, we want everyone to play and make money. This, this, this. You know damn well anybody in the contender cup is not making no fucking money with all these pros playing in it. Two, what happened to you have to meet champions to even compete for cash prize? W what happened to that? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get y'all. Like, I know no one in contender is going to make money if people in champion or pros could playing it. Like, why are you doing this to yourself? Just make it two rounds like how it's always been, minimum, Wednesday and then Thursday, and call it a day. Go do these four hour bullshit cups, no one wants to play it. Yeah, it was a cool concept to make people play cups daily and make a little money on the side, but it's not comp, it's not fun, it's, it's, it's just not fun. People grief, people do dumb shit, it's not fun. Please get rid of it or make it two rounds. Thank you, that's all I have for that. 
Now the fifth thing ain't really what I think they should add, but mostly what everyone wants to hear, and I know they want to hear from this video is a different um, loot pool from you know comp and casual. In my opinion, I feel like there shouldn't be a different type of loot pool. Really, I just feel like there should be be a delay of the item to whether it is comp ready. Yes, that's the word comp ready. Yes, yes, I'm gonna go with that comp ready for comp because like there's just some items that just like should have never been in comp and i already know the first thing everyone's saying is the mech that was that was that shouldn't even be in the game in my and i think in everyone's like mine it should not have been a thing in the game that's just a legendary item that y'all been trying to push into the game like how the sword was you're just trying to push something legendary into the game that shouldn't be in the game um a boom box junk riff the sniper scout like i don't i don't know like i get it's a cool concept it's a fun item to do but like in comp where it could just be abused or really used to an op standard just should not be in it you know like yeah add the item but like if there's a tournament in the next two days or three days maybe say hey it's not gonna be in the tournament until we get some reviews or like look over of how the item is being used within the game before we actually say you know what let's throw into comp because like the whole the whole um storm bottle shit holy fuck that was broken as shit that was the most broken item in the game junk riff the broken audio you can literally just throw it on someone and they can't even hear it or especially end game imagine imagine end game with 50 people people sitting on top of each other in boxes high up and stuff and you just throw one on top and you just kill like six kids because they're underneath each other on top of each other like it it just it's just not made for comp like i don't think there should be a different price uh, like a loot pool but i really feel like there should be like a caution of when you should add the new items that you add into the game into comp that's all i feel like it and that's it that's what i have for that now the final thing i think epic needs to do for fortnite in comp is the prizing because holy fuck the champion series prizing was the wow, most do do? dog shit prizing i've ever seen in my fucking life who told ya that people in semis should make money let me give you two seconds to think about that why in the right mind should semis make any type of money it's never been like that in anything in any of your tournaments it's never been like that so why did y'all thought hey even though you didn't make finals the top 100 people that own were almost there yeah here, here's some money why did y'all think that was smart now i forgot i made a tweet about this i i show like the cash that they pretty much burned by doing this i think it was like 200 to 300 k or some bullshit like only in any east so imagine other regions too like that was just the most idiotic shit that i ever done like that made no sense you had a cat you you had two trio cups before you had the one where it was the two days whatever and you know you had your material thing that was broken top a thousand only top 150 got paid right it was two rounds it was semis and finals and finals it was top a thousand and only 150 get paid got it in the one day trio cup everyone played they cut it down to only the top 150 qualify and then only 75 the top 75 people in finals make money where the fuck happened to all that why in the champion series you thought hey it's open to everybody we're gonna take the top 1000 then we're gonna take the top 150 but it's okay it's okay if you don't make finals the hundred people that didn't make finals it's okay you're gonna get some cash too all right all right why you literally burnt so much cash because of that and not only the fact like i would have been fine if people if you made finals you made money good cool i think that that's amazing that, that's how it should always be but the fact that you thought it was a great idea to make what was it 31 or 30 i think 31 31 all the way to 250 makes the same amount of cash is the most stupidest shit fucking ever even with the fucking in finals i think what was it i think it was the 30th all the way to, to 9th make the same amount that's even stupid for next champion series stage 2 from 33 all the way to 9th make the same money that's the stupidest shit stage 2 grand finals of champion series 33 all the way to 9th make the same money that is stupid I feel like it should be definitely different through some type of placement or every fifth placement like like from 30 to 25 to 25 to 24 to, to 19 like something like that like 
I don't know, man. I just feel like the priziness just needs to be better. Especially that it's not like it was solos or duo where it's like a one-man split or a two-man split. Bro, it's trios. We had to split the money three-way. $600? $200 each, bro? <laughs> I got top 30 in the one-day cup with my trio. I made $900 each, bro. But in the champion series, where it actually is a champion series to where it leads up to even more money, I get top 30, I get 200 bucks. And I, and like, and that's each. Like, I don't know. I just find that. I find the prizing in the champion series and the cash cups was just so idiotic. It was so, well, the cash cups kind of make sense because one day and stuff. I feel like, they, like I said, they should make it two days. But like, the champion series was the most, yeah, yeah don't get me wrong. The first place prizes were like massive now. And don't get me wrong, it should be like that. Like the top five should make like some really, really good money. But like just for the fact that I don't know, I feel like 60k was a drag. I feel like 10k or 12k should be something like that first place makes, and then like it's split up a little bit better. I don't know. I just hope for the champion series for squads prizing is so much better. Cause now we're splitting the cash with four with three other people. We're splitting the prize for four ways now. I better not see one. I said I better not see one prize for semis Fortnite. One prize. Cause holy fuck if I fucking <laughs> if that shit says, hey, the top 100 qualified, but it's okay, it's okay. The other 100 that didn't make it but it was really close, you get a split $400. If you do that shit, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm quitting Fortnite. I swear to God. If the if a hundred is the top 100 that didn't make finals and semis get money and it's a $400 split I'm going to cry and I'm going to rant and I'm going to just quit your game just saying that needs to be fixed and I know this was like a long rant but just like just really think about the prizing they did did just just really think about it the prizing for champion series was the worst shit ever bro it was very unsatisfying and it's like once you didn't pop off or you know do something different it was like yo why even try anymore you know that's another reason why people games got griefed and like finals and stuff is because like if you know you weren't getting near top i think 30 or something or top 25 or something you weren't getting more money yeah you get more champion series but not a lot of people really thought through that with the whole series points and stuff it's just the fact that these ch ch change your, your change your pricing epic that's it that's all i have to say about that but that's it for the video guys i know i kind of ranted on about the whole pricing a little bit longer than i should have but like Oof, sorry, I had that built up into me for a while because that shit is just AIDS. But yeah, leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything. Comment if you have any more ideas that Fortnite could do to increase the comp scene, make comp, you know, feel better and actually like comp in other games. And also, leave a like if you like the video. I think I said that already. I'm like tired right now. And it's your first time you're watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out